Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Pestridge. Welcome to uh, another Titanic video. This one is Project 401. Um, we're going to have an eventual walk around, uh, explore the ship, but um, I'm going to sort of go through with you first off the installation, the download, the setup of the demo in order to get the best out of it for your PC. Um, this requires, and I believe it's down here below, um, it tells you the system requirements. They require you a minimum of 8 gig of RAM. Now, if you have 16, 32, 64, 128, um, it's never really going to load above 9 or 10 because they really did try and keep it down below the 8 gig of RAM uh, sort of memory. Um, in terms of GPU video memory, it says here <laughs> 4 gigabytes of video memory. Uh, first class requirements, approximately 7, 8 gigabytes of RAM and VRAM so it is possible to run first class with a GPU that only has four gig of RAM I wouldn't agree with that okay um, first off you have to have DirectX 12 not many DirectX 12 cards have four gigabytes of video memory on them you're gonna struggle to run it to be honest you're gonna struggle on low settings so the absolute requirements I would say the minimum are the recommended now it's not these sorts of things that um you're going to want to know going in okay so uh for anybody who doesn't know where to go this is the uh release day tour uh page and if you scroll down into uh that oh that's weird hmm, hang on a second <laughs> i watched this uh that's so weird like, I watched this when about two hours after the original recording of this was done, which was about 12 hours ago um, from when I recorded this video. And at the time I watched it, that actually said ni over 9,000 views. And I remember it saying 9,000 views because I commented going, wow, there's 374,000 subscribers on this channel. And so far, they've only clocked up 9,000 views in like eight hours of me watching like of, of the video being uploaded of the live stream being recorded i thought that's going to get so much more views in the next few hours but actually it's gone down they've lost five thousand views that's so weird anyway that just took out to me sorry uh that was a bit weird um yeah so the download link is in this video so i will put the download link to that this page here in my video so you can literally go straight to because if you actually go to their website they actually do have um and this this is not this is new this morning this said thg this didn't say vdr it's a bit weird um, but if you go to uh, the download section on their website, originally, uh, oh, it's gone. It, it says demo three now. Oh, okay, that's so weird. Again, it said the it had the 401 demo. I wonder if it's under Project 401. No, because that's the page we're on. That's so weird. Honestly, these things keep changing. The store was closed last time I came. Yep, the store is still closed. Like, okay, there's just weird things happening. When I clicked on the link before, it sh it came to the original 401 demo, the, the previous version. Um, but now it's got demo three here. Okay, so that's just a bit strange. Anyway, now, first things first about this, okay, there is two... Uh, ways to download this and it's really going to depend on your pc on like where you are in the world as to how you're going to download this now there's a download mirror and there's an actual download now one of these one of these will work faster than the other so this one that i've just clicked on says four five hours left and if we start this one up and save it it goes to a we transfer download uh and it starts downloading that there. We're going to add another zero to that to differentiate between the two. Um, and this one now says 13 minutes left. So I'm going to sack that one off, cancel that. And this one's going to be downloaded in quite a quicker manner. Basically, um, these are two different servers. This is a mirror of this one. Now, you go to this one, you might be hours downloading it or you might be minutes downloading it. Really choose the fastest one, okay? for your uh, area location of the world or pc okay right so it's not uh, finished downloading yet it's still downloading but um let me just go through with you a couple of things you can do with your pc in order to get the best out of this demo um, if you go into your system 
and, and you scroll down to, to graphics settings, make sure your Hardwell accelerate, accelerate to GPU scheduling is turned on, okay? And once you've installed it, you can actually set, uh, I mean, it's set for desktop app here, but you can actually set a preference for your power settings um, to make sure that you're running in the highest performance mode okay um, I've actually done a video which I'll link down below on how you can actually set and customize this up to get the most out of your GPU and CPU um, it's a bit of an involved video um, it was aimed at flight simulation but it's the same for gaming so uh, I'll put the link down to that if you want to go check it out but make sure your PC is set up to run appropriately um, I myself have a uh, i7 7 uh, 700k CPU which is running at 456 gigahertz its base speed is 420 I'm actually boosting it I'm not overclocking it I wouldn't actually recommend overclocking it, it shortens the life uh, span of your CPU um, and I'm actually running a 1080 Ti graphics card which has 11 gigabytes 11 gig yeah 11 gig of dedicated GPU memory um, probably well, only eight or nine are ever going to get used in the game so like my memory is 32 gig um, although it is running in one slot so only 16 gig of that could actually be used at any one time um, so uh, I, th I feel I have a very good PC set up for this demo but um, you know when Windows 10 or 11 you know ships it's set up with your gpu cpu at a stock level so you've actually got quite a bit of leeway to increase your performance to make sure you're getting the best out of your hardware not leaving performance on the table so make sure your hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on and then once you've done that you can actually set a preference for an app you just click on here you go to the exe file you click on it and then you can actually say use the high performance mode use the power saving mode or let windows decide the highest it might say ultimate performance high performance whichever one choose that and then when you run the app or when you run the demo it's going to kick in even if you're in power saver mode to the higher mode okay so that's that now like i've said in previous videos i've collected and archived every single demo they've ever released so i've got every single demo i've got demo one two three i've got the, the reception syncing and i've got all of the four point Oh, uh, 401 demos saved backed up i also have got what's called like this one is the current one so we can delete that one because we're installing a new one um, and i've also got what's called the universal unreal engine unlocker now i don't know if this is going to work in unreal engine 5 because that's what the new titanic demo is being made in unreal engine 5 but um it might work, it might not work, but this basically unlocks the camera so we can go anywhere on the ship. So if they've put in blocks in the path, we can actually just step over them and go and investigate areas that they don't want us to uh, that are still built, which is pretty cool. So um, that's that. And um, yeah, most likely it probably won't work in Unreal Engine 5, but anyway. So once you've downloaded it, uh, pop it on a location, ideally an SSD drive um, or your C drive if that is also an SSD or an M2 drive. Try and avoid staying away from HDD drives, which are mechanical drives. Uh, they're only really best for storage, not for actually drawing data using them from. So stick it on an SSD. Um, I'm going to put mine here on my G drive because it is an SSD. And then all you have to do is unpack the demo, which is going to be contained in this folder. And one thing it also uh, comes with is a um, an image file of the deck plans uh, of the accessible areas in Titanic. So when you finished unpacking, you'll be able to utilize that image, which is a very high resolution image, to see what um, areas of the ship are actually accessible. Uh, visible and not accessible in so as soon as this finishes unpacking we will in the next video start her up and let her loose and i will show you the best settings in the menu for your graphics card and we will go through a quick uh, initial first look with more video content to come as well like I said uh, previously I have all the previous uh, demos backed up 
archived so if there is anything you wish to see from the uh the archives just let me know i have done a walkthrough video for every single one of these videos or of these demos so you can check it out on this channel um and uh until next time thank you so much for watching this i hope it's been of help for you We're setting up your pc uh setting up your um graphics card and sort of prepping your pc so you can get the best from this demo it is really exciting 50 percent of titanic to walk around guys um i can't wait anyway i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye